Hi guys, I'm Pausap. For today, it will be the Anta Antelope. Again, I wore this shoe with my own peso. This is a neutral running shoe. Very flexible. US size 10, it weighs 304 grams or 10.7 ounce. A bit heavy, but it was okay. Going to the specs, the upper is made up of cloud knit. I think it's uh, what the Anta calls its uh, knit uppers. It's comfortable and dual layered. The tongue is not gasseted. The laces is flat and there's uh, six holes per side. The insole is thick. The heel collar is quite padded and sturdy. This one, you can see Anta. Going to the midsole, it's a full length flash foam. Going to the outsole, it says there it's uh, what they call what Anta calls grip track right there, grip track I think the whole outsole is, co is uh, made up of the grip track it says also there uh, flash foam and what they call this go zone here I'm not sure what that means. Go zone. Okay. Going to the performance. This shoe doesn't need a breaking period, okay? The upper was uh, soft and roomy, and the, out and the midsole was uh, soft also from the start. Dur uh, durability. I'm guessing 400 kilometers at least. <clears throat> I've used this for about 50 kilometers now, mostly 10 kilometer runs and then 115 kilometer and then 15 kilometer tempo. Okay, so I think this is a tempo running shoe, not for your slow pace runs because of the, the 12 uh, holes on the laces and a bit, a bit uh, fitting here in the forefoot. And also, it's a more of a ground contact feel here. The foam is uh, soft and responsive. Hmm. Okay, comparing with the other uh, midsoles of Anta, the flash bubble, the flash edge, and the flash foam. Hmm. The flash edge was like a react foam for me. But on the flash edge shoe, the forefoot was thick. On this part, it's uh, more thinner, so this is more of a tempo riding shoe. Hmm. What else? Uh, soft. The midsole is quite soft. Which is softer? The flash bubble, the flash edge, or the flash foam? Hmm. I'd say the flash foam, just, but just a bit. Okay, just a bit. A bit softer. Going to the pros and cons. Hmm. The cons. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a con, but uh, this shoe is uh, wide foot friendly. Anta shoes are uh, quite large, large size. So on this shoe, I wore uh, thick socks with my wide foot, and it's still uh, quite uh, comfortable. So if you're a narrow footer, go go uh, half a size down, maybe 9.5. Hmm. What else the the con of this shoe? Hmm. I'll get back to that. Okay. So going to the pros, comfortable and and breathable upper, soft midsole. For your tempo runs, good for your 5k, 10k, maybe 21k, not for your marathons. Okay, I, I forgot. This shoe has a 
like a, a TPU laid inside here you can see there and I can see it in the here when I remove the insole it's not full length okay based from from what I see it's only up to this part okay this part only not the full length just, just this part the, the entire here it's used for your uh, for, for running because because uh, this is a tempo shoe and you need that for your extra snap back like that for, for, when you run fast you bend your feet a bit more and then it helps in the propelling you I'll show you okay like that you're going to bend it <laughs> it really uh, propels just a TPU plate, okay? Not a carbon plate. Again, I'll... okay. Comparing this with other brands, hmm. I think in New Balance, this is the the Rebel. It has a TPU plate and soft and uh, for tempo runs. Yes, the Rebel version two of New Balance. In Adidas, Tikumisen, or or is it the the Adios? I think the Adios because the Adios has a has a TPU plate in the bottom also. In Nike, Nike a speed workout, a tempo shoe for Nike. That's non carbon plated. Not a Pegasus. Not a beauty. Hmm. I think there's none. Tempo X percent. I know. So there's no uh nothing like this in, in Nike. So do I recommend this shoe? Yes, I do. It's a cheap tempo daily training shoe. And good for your uh, lifestyle use because it's really comfortable on the upper. Guys, if you like the video, kindly press the like button below. Put your inquiries and comments in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. And bye-bye. See you again.